A RIPTA bus driver is being hailed as a hero after restraining an unruly passenger last Friday who flashed a gun. A spokesperson for the union says it happened after that passenger refused to wear a mask on board. The weapon turned out to be a BB gun. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie joins us now. Alex, the union says this is just one example of thousands of attacks they say on transit workers every year. Yeah, Shannon, an ATU Local 618 union spokesperson tells us the union has informally documented more than 100 incidents involving just its workers in the past four years, with at least 10 of those occurring in New England. And at least two of those incidents stemmed from federal mandate requiring masks on public transit. Pawtucket police say just before 9 on Friday morning, officers were dispatched to Collier Park after getting a report of a fight on a RIPTA bus between a driver and passenger who reportedly refused to wear a mask. Police say the driver asked the passenger, later identified as 36-year-old Carlos Flores of Providence, to put one on. Police say Flores swore at the driver and told him no. ATU Local 618 says the RIPTA driver, who they identified as John LeBeau, pulled over and asked him to leave. The union says LeBeau also tried to radio in for help, but said the radio wasn't working. Police say once he pulled over, LeBeau opened the rear doors and asked Flores to leave, which is when Flores was alleged to have pointed at some type of firearm in his waistband. When officers arrived, they found Flores being pinned up against the window, with LeBeau and someone else keeping control of his hands. An officer says they noticed what appeared to be the handle of a firearm in Flores' front waistband. Officers yelled at him to show them his hands. Flores said it was a BB gun, but complied with officers and was arrested. Police say after inspecting the BB gun, they determined it wasn't loaded. ATU International President John Costa released a statement in part saying, Our member John LeBeau is a hero who acted bravely under extreme circumstances. The situation could have been much worse. Our members deserve better than this. RIPTA says the safety and security of its passengers and employees is of the utmost important, importance and that it's reviewing the required pre-check review of operability of the bus on that day. As for Flores, a police report notes he's facing two felony charges related to the firearm plus two misdemeanor charges. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.